Hey, this is Good Names, and welcome to the Daily Advice. Today, with suspension bridges, the proper type. So what I've been experimenting here is usually suspension bridges are tied together on both sides, creating this unnecessary bend to them. So what I've done here is I tied these ends underneath this platform with rope to the end over here. So I put this unnecessary ramp up top. I hope that this one works. I actually did this all correctly once and copied and pasted it somewhere here. I'll show you that at the end. But right now I'm going through how to take apart said suspension bridge, the proper type. So what I have here, they're tied up, but yep, both of the connection parts to the bridge are secure right now. So popping into spectator mode, we have these upper portions because I had to take away the bottom part upper portions holding together the bridge at this starting point. So I'll take those away. First part you need to do is to remove these top bits. That will start working. Oh, now first part is remove these axles as soon as possible because they are explosive. The reason why I actually did this once to make sure it worked was because of that. Honestly, you're gonna have to make me edit this video. Really? Oh yeah, thank you, bug. Whenever those things get altered in any way, it just pops back. Is that the usual? Yeah, that's the usual part. There's a bug, bug report. There's a bug that whenever these things get altered in any way, it might have even just messed it up because of loading, they flip back this way. When they get destroyed, they flip back this way. Whenever you touch them, strangely, they flop back this way. And also, they do connect on the sides, but if I were to take off, I'll show you this properly, bug report video, thank you. If I were to take off this top part, they would just fall off, even though they're attached right there. Ah, <sighs> buggy, let's see. Yeah, you won't be able to place them because the only thing they attach to is right here. Ah, <sighs> wow. Fix it, fix it, there we go. Deep breath in, and here's an edit. I'm back! Yay, sorry about that. Deeply sorry. You know, game, you should be the one being sorry right now. <sighs> game, game, game. Uh, so right now I'm going to delete those two right away. Move everything. Deep breaths. Breaths, there we go. So yes, those things are the trouble of my life. See? What did I tell you? Those things are now properly placed before they weren't, after it exploded. Uh, well, it really doesn't matter because when they explode, you won't be looking at them. So, first step is done. I removed those last axle pieces because they're just there to get the planks going. No, you can actually build this whole thing without needing those. You can just have these last two, this one connecting to this piece, just build out this giant bridge, let it fall, it can fall as much as it wants, then you just attach the ropes, or well, I'll get into when you attach the ropes, and then spool it up, and it'll work just fine. So really, you don't need that step, so technically, this is the first step! Yay! So, first step is removing these bottom pieces to create your drawbridge, all these are set up, normal drawbridge. There's so many different draw. I seriously forgot to turn you off. Whenever I think there's, they're using an external setting that the, this one setting doesn't change. It's the external setting that does change. So yeah. Yeah, my days have been freaking out. Yep, there it drops. My days have been draw freaking out because this thing automatically sets based off of what your settings are in the world settings. Yeah, in the world settings that determines when you load it up, if day and night will be on. I know these videos are never about what the subject actually is of the video. Well, that's just gonna be me, me forever and ever. So yeah, this is the common look of drawbridges, how they're swooping up from a lower point. This is because when, if the lighting was right, let's actually pull up the lighting. Which one are you? Thank you! Wow! Wow, that's so nice. I had to build this thing in the dark one time. 
Wow. So because there is this leeway, this give in these hinges, if that whole space that it now is taking up that it wasn't earlier when I built it is now allowing it to bend down. And with uh, the spools over there, I will take up that slack that was created by the bridge and make it taunt, which are words that you generally don't use in your coming speech. But yes, I have just used them. So deleting the rest of those, well, not the rest. Uh, yes, I will do this. So now getting onto the second step, getting ahead of myself a little bit, is setting up the ropes. Now you don't actually want the ropes to be set up. You don't want the ropes to be attached when it's like this, because if you are to use the defense mechanism, which I will show you, yay, it didn't break. That's the other breaking point show you the, def the defensive principles of this bridge. You're going to need this them not be taunt. When you attach them, these points, they go to the maximum length that the rope can be is whatever length that you attach it at. So I'm attaching it at the longest I would like it to be so that it can go all the way out. And when the challenge is that I set up, this is actually a problem. So I ran into that and now I know better. So yay. So now this whole rope setup is set up. Wow, redundancy. So now I'm going to spool it in just a little bit so that uh, we don't experience that same breaking point I was just talking about now. So the breaking point I was just talking about is when this last piece comes off, if there's too much weight on it, then this whole system will be broken. Uh, that's one side. Yeah, as you can see, uh, between the two points when it was actually attached, it now dropped down a little bit. That is the stack that I was talking about earlier. Wow. Earlier ago, which as in one minute, probably. It's so nice that this bridge finally decided to work in a video. Yay. Yeah, breaking point. If you don't do that correctly, that's one of the breaking points. Looks nicely. So, yeah, I spooled it up, so no problem there. Uh, so getting into the defensive principles of this, using Shift T to let it out as far as I had it let out. Let's say somebody is attacking you, and you have this bridge drawn up all the way, and then... Wow, word today. If someone was attacking you and you had it drawn all the way up, you can simply unspool it and defeat the purpose of having a bridge. So now they can't cross. And because of the chasm that you are in, it's impossible to get to. This is probably the most defensive position. <sighs> Granted that they can't get above you. Yeah. If the, these walls were taller, they'd probably die from landing. So pretty defensive in itself. Now turning it up. I will actually show you in third person if I weren't to fall. As you can see, it's being shored up. Another word you don't use in common speech. So if I am to tighten this, thank you, tighten this up, you can see as it's gradually coming up, it will hit the platform that I have there, which really isn't necessary, and break apart. So I'll actually go over to the model where it worked. As you can see, many breaking points with this. Uh, but as I have gotten it to work, it actually works constantly. So what I did earlier was test it out, make modifications to it. I used a ramp instead of a step to get up. This nice ramp, arbitrary, but does is kind of needed. That old, old system, you couldn't actually... Uh, walk on, walk up to. Yeah, also I put this in little beam piece in because you can't actually step up one and a half. You have to go up one words today. So this allows you to cross over, get onto the bridge. If I were to spool this off, it you wouldn't be able to walk across it. And with this ramp, you're able to walk up it. Yay. So now the spooling off mechanism. So even if people are on the bridge, you can let out the rope. They'll fall to their death or just sit there on your bridge, your suspension bridge. Or, and once you're done with the attack, once they are done with their attack, you can just spool it up and go on your merry way without your attackers. 
yeah, one thing is be, do pay attention when this whole thing is coming up because that is the third breaking point which we have thus experienced. So it's so rewarding having a nice bridge in the video that I watched that gave me this idea of how to show up your bridges. That's going to be the name of this, how to show up your bridges. The whole bridge, not that far down, was just boating down and he is having problems with really long bridges with getting onto the platform. I'm trying to properly simulate a poor bridge. Poor bridge. I was about to say no one likes you, but everyone likes you because you're a bridge. Probably not the attackers because you're probably failing them. So this bridge works out nicely that even if it were to be built improperly, you can get over this little bump because this first piece is astronomically correct. Have no clue why this works. It didn't work in this video. It shouldn't have worked here, but it did. So I'm the master of bridges, even though by compound bridge or that thing. That was the last video. No, second to last. Yeah. Oh, almost put myself there. I'm the master of bridges, even though bridges, eh, they're nice, but I like doors and bridges. They're cool. So once again, thanks for watching this daily advice. As usual, there'll be another one out tomorrow. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did indeed like this advice. If you do have any suggestions on advice or something you would like me to look into, please do add that in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.